Get ready with me while I tell you guys about how I found out I was pregnant as a sophomore at the University of Alabama. I am not from Alabama, so I was an out-of-state student, and within my first few weeks there, I met a boy who is my now husband. As soon as I saw him, I told my friend, that is my husband. And so we start texting, whatever, whatever, and then a year later, we move in together. My parents aren't together, but his parents are together, so naturally, my mom and his parents were not super thrilled about us moving in together. At the time, this was my sophomore, going into my sophomore year, and going into his junior year. So obviously, they had some concerns, but eventually, they end up agreeing to let us live together. So we move in together, and that year, never once had a scare, anything. And then the next year, we, after realizing that we could not afford to live where we were living anymore, we decided to get a cheaper apartment, which was a little bit further from campus. And one of his friends was looking for a roommate. We asked him if he would want to be roommates with us in a two bed. So we moved in with a friend. And during this time, I'm trying to get into nursing school. And the nursing program at Alabama is pretty competitive. So that was my main focus was trying to get into nursing school. Within a couple of months of us moving into this new apartment with this roommate, I found out that I'm pregnant. And y'all, I was so in denial. Like in denial is not even the word. I did not want to believe that I was pregnant. I missed my period but I just I just could not believe that I was pregnant so I didn't even take a test or anything I was like I'm just gonna wait till the next month and then if I don't get my period again this month then I'll take a test but right now we're just gonna chop it up as I'm stressed out and that's why I missed my period so the next month rolls around and of course guess what I don't get my period so I was like oh so now I finally had to take a test took the test and it was positive and when I say positive I mean literally I don't even think the test finished reading and it popped up right away so I was very pregnant devastated I am literally hyperventilating did not stop crying to go and show him the test. He's, of course, calm, cool, and collected, like always, and just kept reassuring me that it was okay, we're gonna figure it out, but I just did not wanna hear that. I was devastated. And it wasn't even that I was devastated about having a baby. I was just devastated about the fact that my dream of becoming a nurse was over, in my mind at least. And once I finally come to terms with everything, I basically go into hiding. I quit talking to all of my friends. Every time they would ask me to hang out, I would always have some excuse. I avoided running into them on campus. Once I really started showing, I started wearing extra big t-shirts because I thought that I was covering it up, but I was not at all. Just because at a school like that, it's kind of taboo to be pregnant. I've definitely had quite a few experiences that were not that great, so, but that's for another time. So yeah, I go into hiding. But with this going into hiding, I avoided going home. Like I said, I'm not from Alabama. So I did not go home at all. And my mom came to visit, I think like one or two times during that semester, but I was able to hide it from her. And then eventually it gets to the point where I am eight and a half months and I still have not told my mom. And so I go from one of my last OB appointments and he tells me that he thinks that I'm gonna go into labor in the next couple of weeks or so. And so me and my husband start freaking out. I don't know what we, what we thought, like it was gonna, I don't know. But we're like, oh my gosh, we're running out of time. Of course you're running out of time. Anyway, so we, just, we that day we were like, we have to tell them, we have to tell them. So we sit down and basically have this strategy meeting on how we're going to break the news to our parents that we are pregnant. And he calls his parents first and it's just, it was something about saying it that made it just that much more real. Even though I had a huge belly, and felt her moving around and everything. It's like telling our parents was just, everything just felt more real. Parents first and tell them and their response was not bad. Of course, they were a little bit disappointed and but they weren't, they didn't, they weren't mean about it or rude or whatever. So <clears throat> then I called my mom and tell her and she was like, I mean, the first thing she said was, I already knew. I'm like, what? You already knew? And she was like, yeah, I, I knew you were pregnant. I was just waiting for you to tell me. Which still to this day, she hasn't really said how she knew. She just, I guess just like a mother's instinct kind of thing. I don't know, but she's, but I felt like a million pounds was lifted off of my shoulder when she told me that. And so I finished up that semester and went to my advising appointment because this was the semester that I was supposed to apply for the upper division of the nursing program. So if I don't already, as if I don't already feel like my life is over and like I'm never going to accomplish anything, I'm never going to be a nurse, I go to this advising appointment and she tells me that she recommends that I don't apply to the upper division and that I maybe think about going to a community college instead because it would be extremely difficult for me to be able to have a child and get through the difficulty of the upper division program. So I go home, have my daughter, and then trying to figure out what I'm going to do and I decide to apply to the upper division anyway even though it was my advisor advised against me doing that. So there was a, a lot of stuff that happened in between that time but I end up, long story short, I end up getting in, graduated from the University of Alabama, Capstone College of Nursing with honors with a baby and yeah. Moral of the story is don't let anyone tell you that you can't do it and also make sure you take your birth control. I love that. That was the most realist sort of I'm pregnant at a young age, how can my parents I'm at college? Especially in America, you have to pay for college as well, which is not cheap unless you get a scholarship. But all that healthcare, you can't afford to live in an apartment. So you've got all the money to, for college, the hospital with midwife appointments apartment it's a lot to take on and i think when you're such a young age as well and you're going to college it's such a big achievement and to feel like i don't know you're too scared or ashamed that your parents will be angry with you or disappointed i just feel like there's a lot of pressure on people who are young at this age to get pregnant to tell the families and half the time you hear all these stories like oh my god i'm pregnant at 16 i'm pregnant at 19 i'm pregnant at 20 like i'm too scared to tell my parents they're gonna disown me they're gonna be this and half the time 
they just don't, they're not like that. Like the, most of the stories I hear, they're so supportive. Yes, it's a shock. And yes, they are a bit like, oh my gosh, you're so young. But at the end of the day, your parents support you either way. They support her going to University of Alabama. They support her going to go do nursing. They will support you having a baby. And like her mum even knew, which is insane. You know, it's, that's just crazy. I'd love to hear the mum's point of view, like what like the story of how her mum thought she knew. But yeah, it must've been really scary. It's nice to hear that they're married now as well. I wonder if I had any more children or that would be really cute, that would be a cute like, update in their life. And the fact she went to the upper division sort of class for her degree is insane. That is a woman. That's incredible, it's really inspiring to see as well. There might be a lot of people who are watching that who are in the current state who may not want to keep baby or want to have their baby but also study. It's really inspiring I love seeing stuff like that. I love seeing women who get pregnant, they obviously want to keep their baby and they still want to carry on their studies and they do it. And when their baby grows up a bit more in the future, they will look back on that and go, my mum did that. Like my mum carried me eight and a half months pregnant, you know, completing the most insane courses, it was everything, and here I am. I think that's so sweet. It's a very nice story to hear. And like this woman here goes, I was pregnant in my senior year of nursing school, advised to tell me to take a year off. I said no, had my son and graduated with a 4.0 next semester. That is incredible. That's insane. And all these comments are like really relating to her going, I'm so confident to hear, I'm pregnant right now, this has made my decision. Like, She's really influenced people and it's nice to see. I'm eight months pregnant in nursing school right now, how crazy. And she's replying, you know, giving them words of advice, saying you've got it. I'm really happy for her. That's incredible.